blow. So um, I got this pamphlet um, yesterday when I was out for a walk. I walked for two and a half hours and at the midpoint I got a coffee which dehydrated me. I have a cold and I'm getting sick and uh, physically sick after my mental sickness and I feel like maybe the physical sickness is curing my mental sickness. So I got this, um, uh, God's last name is not Dan, um, is this copyrighted? It doesn't appear to be copyrighted. So um, many people strive to make a name for themselves. A person's name symbolizes not only what they have accomplished in their lifetime, but it also reveals their character, whether good or bad. The Bible states, a good name is rather to be chosen than great riches. Proverbs 22.1 In fact, God values his name so much that he gave the following command. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain, for the Lord will not hold him guiltless that taketh his name in vain. Exodus 27 The Bible is the record of God's love for mankind. Throughout the Bible, many names referring to God are given, and each name has different aspect of God's character. For instance, Isaiah 9.6 states, For unto us a child is born, unto a, a, us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and the name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace, these names refer to the precious Son of God, and each name gives a glimpse of God's character. Not only does the Bible show that the character of God, but also re reveals the depravity of man. Romans 3.12 states, There is none that doeth good, no, not one. For all have sinned, and have come short of the glory of God. Romans 3.23 Your sin has earned spiritual death, separation from a holy God, and an eternity in hell. For all the wages of death are sin, is sin. Romans 3.23a And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. Revelation 20, 14, 15. <coughs> without the mercy of God, you are lost and without hope. The good news is that God's love for you gives you a way of escape. The way is revealed in his name. Matthew 1.21 states, And sh she shall bring forth the Son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. God loves you so much that he sent his Son to pay the penalty for your sins. But God commandeth his love towards us, in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Romans 5.8 Jesus' death on the cross paid your sin debt. If you were only believe in him, Jesus states in John 5.24 Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that heareth my word, and believeth unto him he that sent me, 
hath everlasting life, and shall not come into condemnation, but is passed from death into life. The Bible was written that ye might believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that believing ye might have life through his name. John 20, 30, 31. There is no other way to obtain salvation, neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men, whereby we must be saved. Acts 4.12 Doing good deeds will not earn you salvation. God said, He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he hath not believed in the name of only begotten Son of God. John 3.18 Obtaining salvation and eternity in heaven is so simple. God gives you the promise. If thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. <coughs> <coughs> For whoever shall call upon the name of God shall be saved. Romans 10, 9, 13 If it is your desire to be saved, please pray this prayer, or one similar to it. Dear God, I admit I am a sinner going to hell. I know that I cannot save myself. I repent of my sins and put my faith in the blood that you shed for me on the cross to pay for my sins. I now accept you as my Savior and trust you to take me to heaven. Thank you for saving me. Amen. What's in a name? Philippines 2, 9, 11 says the name of Jesus is above every name that the name of Jesus is every knee should bow, and that every tongue shall, should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. One day you will believe in God, but will it be too late? Please do not take your salvation lightly. Trust in Jesus today. If you have decided to trust Jesus Christ as your Savior after reading this tract, please write and let us know. Then there's a form, and the address is Fellowship Tract League, P.O. Box 164, Lebanon, OH, I guess that's Ohio, 45036 www.fellowshiptractleague.org Tract 112 All tracts free as the Lord provides not to be sold. <laughs>